Hey, what's up? Welcome. Move the Sticks, DJ, Bucky, and Bucky. As former scouts, there's nothing more enjoyable for us than to sit back, watch some all-22 tape. And we did it on the Miami Dolphins this week, and this looks like a different football team. Different football team on defense. Their defensive line is beginning to dominate. Their star players are playing well. Yeah, their star players, and that to me starts with Ndamukong, Sue, and Cameron Wake. And when I went back and watched this game against the Houston Texans, Buck, you want a tone setter in your football game? Let's watch the very first snap of the game, and Ndamukong, Sue, right here. Watch what he does in Newton, the right guard, right here. Very first play of the game. I'll get a little arm over, a little swim, and then I got a decent path to the quarterback. Oh, you're going to try and come across my face? Let me just throw you on the ground. I'm going to dump your quarterback on the ground as well. Yeah, he brings some attitude, brings some of that stuff that you wanted to see. I believe, and Dominican Sue is playing better because now he's attacking gaps. I felt like he was reading reacting too much early in the season. No, he is he's getting after it. You line him up over a guard. There's very few guards that can deal with that power. I talked to an all-pro guard and talked about going up against Ndamukong Sue, and he said, look, he hit you with that power the first quarter, second quarter. He said, you get to that third, fourth quarter, you just don't want to do it anymore. No, he's a bully. He's a backyard bully in the middle of that defense, sets the tone. But what I like about when he was brought in by the Miami Dolphins is having him in the middle was going to allow other guys to eat, and I believe one of the guys that is going to eat off of his success, eventually is going to be Cam Wade. Yeah, you see the numbers right there. Two sacks last week, uh, getting after the quarterback, three quarterback hits. But you mentioned him, his partner in crime there, Cam Wake. You want a power rusher, you want somebody that can be physically intimidating, number 91 coming off the edge gives you that. You know, he is all effort and energy. He's a guy that just outworks the opponent. And when I look at the tape, he's a guy that continues to do it. The last two games against the Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans, six sacks, Four forced fumbles and really dominating the, the, the edge. Let's take a look at the table so we can get into it and talk about what he brings to the table. Here we're going to see him lined up in his normal left defensive end spot. Just comes off, absolutely goes right through <laughs> the man. There's a time and a place to set the tone. Oh. It's all power, sheer desire, sets the tone. Look, you best believe that Brian Hoyer is aware of his whereabouts because he came and attacked and got a little nice small piece of hit on the quarterback. You know the angle he's coming to. You got the tight end covering you up there as a the tackle, but man, you're going to be that narrow. You don't have a base. Number 91 will go right through you. His bull rush is as good as anybody in the NFL, Buck, and you saw an example of it right there. But to me, what makes this team so dangerous on the defensive line? It's not just Sue. It's not just Wake. It's what we see when they line them up next to each other and the damage they can do. It's a pick your poison operation. They can both beat you with quickness. They can both beat you with power. And then when they want to, they can run some games, as we'll see on this last play right here. Yeah, when you put those two guys on the same side, it really makes it tough for uh, opponents to really deal with them. Yeah, you look at them lined up right next to each other right here. This is this is a simple cross stunt right here, Buck. And it puts you, you put your guard and your tackle in a tough position. If you don't pass this off smoothly, your quarterback's going to get hurt. No, nah, and the nifty part about it, they do it kind of from a three-man front. They spread you out. Then they run the, the twist. Wade gets into the hole. And Dominican Sue's going to finish things up right there. So uh, this is a team, when you're going forward, a lot of times you have, okay, this is a line, defensive line we got to focus on. we got to take him away. We haven't even talked about Olivier Vernon on the opposite side. Once he gets rolling and everything, uh, they got a lot of bodies. Earl Mitchell's done a nice job inside. This is a very gifted front. Gifted front is exactly what we talked about. We thought that they would be one of the top defenses in football heading to the year with Ndamukong Sue coming over. What they've done, simplified the playbook. They're attacking gaps, not reading and reacting. And they're playing with more effort and energy. Give Dan Campbell credit for bringing that part up because they're playing harder. And when you play hard, good things happen. Yeah, one thing about the Miami Dolphins under Dan Campbell, I think you know after the game, Win or lose, you're going to need to get in that ice tub because the Miami Dolphins are playing a physical brand of football. It starts right there on the defensive line with Ndamukong Sue and Cameron Wake. Well, that, that's what we do here on Move the Six. We break down the All-22. We preview matchups. We look at players. And you can check us out each and every week, nfl.com slash podcast, as well as youtube.com slash nfl.